Hey guys, time to answer your questions. I got a lot of them. Got a list right here. And the first one I'm going to talk about is a couple people want to know what I feed my dogs. This is an empty bag. I kept it so I could show you guys. Oh, hold on here. Set my notepad down. The dogs think, oh wow, are we getting fed? <laughs> okay, this is what I use. Blue Buffalo, uh, the Healthy Weight Adult Chicken and Brown Rice Recipe. Uh, Max, who is right there, a couple years ago had a um, pancreatitis attack. It was a pretty scary couple days um, due to uh, too much fat in his diet. So we have to go with a low fat dog food. And this one is, let's see here. Crude fat, 9% minimum. And it works really good for him. He has not had uh, one problem since he started um, that dog food. And the vet said that, that was um, a, a good percentage. Look at, he's licking that. <laughs> Why don't you guys get back up there? Why don't you get back up there? They just got their beards washed. Anyways, um, so since schnauzers are prone to pancreatitis, I just decided to put them all on the uh, healthy weight blue buffalo. And they're all great. I know there's some controversy and some people say don't use blue buffalo. I know they had some controversy. But it works great for my dogs. They've never had a problem. And I'm not going to change... <laughs> I, there's nothing in there, Mozzie. There's nothing in there. I'm not going to change their dog food um, unless they see a problem. So that's what I feed them. And I feed them one third cup three times a day. I'm a stay at home mom. So I'm home. So I know some people feed their dogs once a day, twice a day. I feed my dogs three times a day. Third cup about usually around seven in the morning because I'm up with my son getting them off to school. And then I uh, feed them at mm, between 1 and 30 and then at 8 o'clock, around 8 o'clock at night. So that works for them. So that's what I feed them and when I feed them, for those who asked. Okay, next question is, uh, how did I choose my dog's names? Mozzie was our first dog. And my husband picked his name. My husband liked a show called White Collar, if any of you have watched it. And there was a character on there named Mozzie. So we named this one Mozzie. Miggy, uh, our fourth dog, um, is named after Miguel Cabrera, who plays for the Detroit Tigers baseball team. And Miggy is Miguel Cabrera's uh, kind of nickname. And Marley, right here, our third dog, he was named after the movie Marley and Me. My kids love that movie. They wanted to name him Marley. Because we kind of, uh, when we got Mozzie and then Max, we kind of wanted, we, for some reason, I don't know why, we stuck with the M names. I don't know. We thought it was cute. Um, and Max, our second dog, he, it's, his name is actually Maximus. Um, but we call him Max. Um, my husband named him too. He just liked the name. So, and we wanted an M name. So, that's how they got their names. Okay, had to move to the bedroom. My kids are being loud. <laughs> um, excuse the messy bed. Didn't make it today. Um, uh, someone wanted to know if I have to take my vet, uh, excuse me, dogs to the vet very often. And do any of my dogs have uh, skin problems or allergies? And no, I don't have to take them to the vet all the time, except for checkups now. I did have, like I said earlier, a problem with Max a couple years ago. Um, had a pancreatitis um, flare-up. And Max also has skin allergies. So he takes a pill called Apoquel um, once a day for that. And Marley, what are you staring at? Huh? Do you guys ever find that your dogs just stare into space sometimes? They just, he just like stares at the wall sometimes. <laughs> and I have no idea what he's looking at. 
or he just, he'll just stare like at the bedspread or it's, it's funny. <laughs> it's always him too. It's always Marley. Um, but other besides just getting, um, their shots, um, heartworm, uh, stuff like that. I don't find myself having to take them to the vet very often. So Marley had to go one time for a broken dew claw. He has one dew claw on this paw. All the rest were removed. Um, I don't know why that one got missed when he was a puppy um, or if it just grew back. I'm not sure, but he did have to go in for that one time, but that's about it. Marley sometimes has um, flare-ups spring and fall um, with a little bit of itchiness, but I cut a Benadryl in half and give him one of those a day and it, it takes care of the problem. And then once summer gets in full fledge going and when winter comes and everything freezes, he's he doesn't have any problems. So Max is the only one with skin allergies. So hope that answered your question. Okay, and then the last question for this video, I'm going to make this into a couple parts. So um, you'll see this video now and then tomorrow I'll have another video because I record on my phone. I don't have a camera I can do this on and my phone only has so much memory. So I'm going to make this like a part one, part two, part three, and they'll be, they'll be um, one today, uh, tomorrow, and then the following day, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, Last question for this video is, uh, someone wanted to know how I keep them from barking. She has a problem with um, her dog's barking. I think it was when people come in or at her boyfriend. I can't remember exactly what it said. I don't have my questions with me. Um, but there's a product called Stop That. Uh, they sell it on Amazon. You can get it at PetSmart. Um, it worked great for my dogs. Um, when we'd take them on a walk, they would bark at everyone, anybody going by, anybody in their yard, bark, 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 bark. Um, and I can't even remember who told me about the product. Can't remember if I just saw it on another Facebook page, um, or maybe a YouTube video. I can't remember. I can't exactly remember, but I got it at PetSmart and I'll insert a picture here to let you see what it looks like and the description of the product. Okay, so that's what I used. Um, it basically makes a noise like, I don't know if you guys have ever watched Caesar Milan where he does the like that. Kind of makes that noise and then it also releases um, pheromones, good pheromones. Um, and that noise would catch my dog's attention and they, and they would just stop barking. And you kind of, you have to do it right when the um, bad behavior starts and uh, kind of correct them right then and there. But pretty soon when we were walking our dogs, all I'd have to do was make the noise that the can kind of made, which was Ch Like, see, they even look at me. Well, not Max. Kind of look at me and they know, um, hey, look at mom and stop what I'm doing. <laughs> type of thing. I don't use it anymore because um, they totally stop barking at people. Um, when my, when people come in the house, yeah, they bark. I mean, they're dogs, they're schnauzers, they're barky. You can't completely stop them from barking. So, um, people come in the house, they bark, they greet them. And within like 45 seconds, they are done barking and they're sleeping on the couch. So I don't stop them from barking when people come in the house or somebody knocks on my door. That's their job. They're dogs. They alert you. So, but with, um, when we were taking for walks and stuff like that, it got quite annoying. So it completely helped and they don't bark at anybody anymore anymore. So I would suggest that product, try it out. And there's some, um, videos on YouTube, um, explaining how to use it and how to use it as a training tool. So try that out. So I'm going to say goodbye right now and tomorrow you'll see another video answering some more questions. Bye-bye.